Hey everyone, Coach Andy here from Trainwinds Health and Fitness. I am the head coach and owner there, and today's Monday, so let's talk about mindset. All right, so the pursuit of happiness. Uh, it's a pretty big deal. I mean, there's like a book named after it, a song, a movie, so it's pretty important, right? And I mean, why shouldn't it be? I don't really know many people that kind of go through life saying, you know what, I choose to be unhappy. So with that in mind, most people then would go through life thinking, well, I am trying to pursue happiness, which is great and makes a lot of sense. I mean, the world can use happier people. So it's awesome. But have you ever stopped to think about, am I doing it right? Is there a better way to do this? And so what I'm gonna do is over the next 10 weeks, I'm gonna do a series on things that are secretly making you unhappy. And today, what I wanna talk about is goals. I know, goals, oh my God. We always talk about goals, coach, I know. We talk about goals because they're important, but we're gonna talk about how they affect your happiness. And so, what happens most of the time is goals can actually make you unhappy. And what I mean by that is if we use external goals to judge and gauge our happiness. And what do I mean by external goals? Well, I mean things that are reliant and determinant on other factors outside of yourself. So typically this is people, right? But if my goal is to beat somebody else's score during a workout, I don't have complete control over that. I can't control what that other person does during their workout. Maybe they're on top of the world. Maybe they took some pre-workout. Maybe they had a great night's sleep. I don't know. And all I can do is control what I can do. And so if I use external goals to gauge my happiness, chances are probably not gonna end up being that happy. And secondly, external goals usually have a limiting factor to them. And what I mean by that is it's usually like do this by this time. And so what that means is I'm constantly chasing the next goal because once I hit mine, well, what then? I go and find the next one. Right? So external goals are usually determined on somebody else and they're usually very, very short term. And what that does is it causes us to be stressed out because we're basically comparing ourselves to other people. And if you have any idea who I am, I hate comparison because it is the thief of joy. And they're very, very short term. So we're always chasing that next hit of dopamine that we get when we accomplish a goal. So how do we fix this? Well, first off, we're just gonna flip the script. Instead of using external goals, we're gonna go internal. We're gonna look inward for our goals, right? And so these are things that I wanna do to better myself. Things that I have complete control over, like my nutrition or my own fitness. Uh, using a workout as an example, instead of comparing myself to somebody else and saying I'm gonna beat their score, how about over the next eight weeks, I'm going to improve my clean by 20 pounds? That's something that I can do. Or I, over the next eight weeks, I am going to improve my stamina so that I can do 10 burpees within a minute. Awesome, right? So that is an internal goal that I have complete control over. I control how much effort I put in. I control how much progress I make by how much work I do, so forth and so on. Not only that, but internal goals usually can last a lot longer. So, I mean, it could even be, I just wanna be a better human being. That's gonna take forever to be accomplished. And so I'm not constantly chasing that next goal, that next hit of dopamine. So how do we fix goals to make us happier? Internalize goals to work on things that I can control and make them longer over the span of time. So I'm really excited about this series because literally we're gonna go over 10 things that are really secretly stealing your happiness. So stay tuned because next week we're gonna talk about physical possessions. Need help kind of planning goals and figuring out how to internalize them? Schedule a free intro call. Let's hop on Zoom and do just that and figure out how to internalize your goals. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next week. I'm really excited.